Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Carlina if you are new. Today I wanted to do a little get ready with me first impressions video um, with the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless palette. How gorgeous are these colors? Oh my gosh. This was actually recommended to me as a really, really nice palette um, by a couple of my coworkers. So hi guys, thank you so much for the recommendation. If you would like to see how I created the eye look that I have on, as well as get my first impressions of this palette, please keep watching. I'm gonna start by applying this color here called Platonic on my eyelid area. I've just prepped my eyelids with my usual, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm really impressed with the pigment here. It's going on really, really nicely. Very, very minimal fallout. Actually, none at all. It's got really, really nice shimmer to it, but it's not like chunky looking. It's still looking very, very smooth. And it's also like moving really well on the skin. Like it blends out really nicely. I don't know if you've experienced that sometimes when something's really really pigmented and it you know that's very impressive but sometimes because of that it like it goes on and just like sticks it doesn't want to move this is very very pigmented but it also blends really really nicely i haven't worn purple eyeshadow in a really long time probably if you've watched my channel you'll already know that i'm pretty much a neutral girl when it comes to eyeshadows i love my my browns and bronzes and golds and things like that but I don't know what's come over me lately maybe it's to do with the spring I've just been craving a little bit of color and for some reason I'm kind of drawn to these more like cool toned um yeah pinks <laughs> oh this palette is so gorgeous I think there's just way too many choices but today I'm going to go in with this guy here, blushes. This guy here will go through my crease area. I'm applying this to a MAC 224 blending brush, and I'm just gonna apply that through the crease. This particular shadow is matte. And as you can see, the pigment is also very, very impressive in this particular formulation. Nice intensity of color, but it's also not, not grabbing more than it should. Just repeat the same on the other side. You'll notice that I don't have any face makeup on at the moment. Normally when I'm getting ready for work, I always like to do my eye makeup first. I just find, especially if I'm trying out a new eyeshadow and I'm not sure how much fallout there's gonna be, or honestly, no matter what, I always find doing my eyeshadow first allows me to like just get it on really, really quick. And then any fallout or whatever, I can just take a wipe to it and then my face makeup stays nice and clean. So that's a really, really great, tri uh, great tip if you're um, pressed for time in the morning. Now, in terms of blending, let's go in with a nice warm color. I'm going to use this guy here called Unconditional. This is also a nice, um, more matte toned. Um, it's kind of like a, like a coral salmon color. Loading up the same 224 brush, and I'm just going over the edge of that hot pink color. 
That's just going to help everything blend and soften nicely. I think we'll add a little tiny bit of depth in the outer corner of the eye. Let's go in with this one here, Love Letter. And that's just going to add the tiniest little bit of definition in the outer corner without making it too dark. Wow, I love that. This palette actually has some really, really unique shades in it. I know when I have typically in the past gone with like pink palettes or anything sort of like that, like, you know what I mean? The um, Naked 3 palette, Naked 3, uh, pardon me, Naked Petite Heat, um, even any of my Rimmel palettes, um, the Too Faced palette, um, that sweet peach one, anything that I have that has like these kind of more reddish peachy tones in it um, doesn't have this option of also hot pink, which I think is so cool, mixed in with that sort of lilac color. And there's a good selection of like brickier tones and like deeper plums. This is a really versatile palette. Um, and like if you are looking to build on your collection that is, you know, predominantly more neutral, wow, this is so fun. Um, I think actually I'm going to leave the shadow there for today. I'm going to come back on once I've got my liner and lashes on. So lashes and liner are on. I did the usual physician's formula, two-in-one eye booster liquid eyeliner in the shade dark brown, and my kiss lashes in the style pompadour. These have been my favorite lately. They are so dramatic, but fluttery at the same time, and I find um, them to be very, very comfortable to wear as well. So I'm gonna finish off my face here, and I will check in for final thoughts. And that is the final look. I finished off my brows with my usual, which is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I combed the brow hairs up with a little bit of glycerin soap just for that fluffy look. I did Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 04 All Natural to line my lips. And I finished it off with the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink uh, lipstick in the shade 168 Serenity. This is a really, really great um, kind of medium tone peachy nude and it will dry and set to the lips. So if you're wearing a mask, it won't transfer, which is so awesome. It's nice and long lasting, but I don't find it to be too drying. It's a little bit more um, comfortable to wear than some similar lipsticks out there. Um, so yeah, final thoughts. I would highly recommend this palette. 
um, especially if you are feeling like you'd like to inject a little bit of color or um, you find yourself also drawn to those sort of more pinky and purpley tones. Um, the colorway is super, super versatile as there are some great neutrals mixed in there. Um, the pigment is amazing, but also it moves. Um, strong pigment isn't everything. It still has to blend and do what you need it to do. So I was super impressed with that. Uh, packaging is beautiful. I'm feeling super inspired to play around with that uh, palette a little bit more. And it's been a really long time since I've been excited to get ready and, you know, try some different things. So that's definitely a plus. Um, for $19 Canadian, this is definitely, definitely money well spent. So I'd really highly recommend that you guys check this palette out. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.